and I really couldn't be happier to have the best group of subscribers that anyone could ask for on YouTube. You guys are honestly de ish. Young Kayla's lagging a little bit here. Oh, well, guys, could it be? We're back. We're back with another video, and you might be wondering where, where am I? And honestly. I have no idea where I am. I just woke up in the car. I finally got a break from driving. Young Kayla has been kind enough to do the driving for us. For today, since she can't drive manual and the M3 was a six speed, I actually never taught her in that car because I didn't want to mess it up. If I had a non-M, I would have, but that's not a topic for any video. Anyways, we're gonna walk out of this garage, see where I just woke up at. We're a little bit closer to the final destination and I know you're thinking, what the hell happened to all the other footage? Well, I feel like I left you guys hanging. So, before you see me pack up my apartment and get out of Miami, you're gonna see something a little bit in the future. So, you're welcome for the time travel. And I really wanna thank you guys, Austin, Kelsey, Mustafa, Paul, for putting up with me. It's been a little rough getting back to you guys, uh, my clients, my trainees, but thank you for bearing with me. Stick to watching my Instagram and you'll see where I'm at. You'll see that I'm alive. But guys, keep killing it. I'm getting my meals in, I'm getting the work done. And speaking of getting meals in, you're about to see something very special, I promise. So stay tuned and enjoy. drive thousands of miles and end up at one of the dopest cookie spots. Say what? All right guys, hope you enjoyed a little bit of, where are we? Kansas City, Missouri. Kansas City, Missouri. And let's go grub. Can't wait to show you guys this. Let's do it. So that was just a little bit of an intro just to keep you guys entertained. This has been a crazy, crazy few days and you guys are gonna see how I left Miami but at first I just wanted to bring you guys some fresh content so you could see the beautiful city of Kansas City, Missouri. The original Protein House was started in Las Vegas by Larissa Rice, a famous, uh, I think she's an IFBB pro, but a crazy figure model, huge. There was apparently one in Denver, right outside Denver, Colorado, and we didn't get a chance to go. So on the way in, we saw that there was one here, and we decided to stop, and I wanted to show you guys this, kind of as a halfway point, just so you can see that we're still alive on our way to Denver, we're not too far out and I want to show you guys the menu really quick, so come on in and check this out. So I don't know much about the menu, but what I can tell you is the protein, carbs, and fats are on everything. So whether you want bison, a burger, a bowl, or chicken, you kind of look at what you want, and then you can see the macros. So what I did is I figured I wanted some red meat today, some bison. The young lady that works here showed me the boss, and it's two organic beef patties, and she was like, it's a lot of beef. Just warning you, and she was right, because if you come in here and look at the macro, 71 protein, 55 carbon, 17 fat, so I opted for the general. 40 protein, 55 carbon, 17 fat, right around the macros I normally get. Sure, to, I, sure I could have gone with the 70 protein, but I just had Subway a couple hours ago, full chicken breast, so this is gonna be very, very good to hold me over for a few hours. I get my red meat in, and I get to try this sweet menu, and they make shakes, juices, pancakes, everything. Don't worry guys, once we're settled in Colorado, we'll be coming here a lot. It's a little pricey, but when the time's right, I'm sure I'll be enjoying me some protein house with you guys. So let's wait for this meal, and I'll check in with you guys when it comes in. I'm psyched. Kayla claims they have my favorite condiments here. Let's see about that. 
You guys stay over there, this isn't for you. Kidding. I wanna get 15 facts. One thing I can say after this trip, guys, is I'm tired of eating out of my kitchen. This is like meal 12 in two days. I've not been able to sit at home and prepare my own food. And while it's good, it's great. After you eat about 12, 13, 14 meals out, you start to miss what you make and miss the palate you've developed with your own bodybuilding diet. And honestly, after working with so many people this year and currently, the hardest thing I find is to show people how to diversify their palate. Most of my trainees are used to eating a certain way, eating certain foods or eating out at certain places. And the key is, guys, is to realize that the taste for quality food is developed over time. Everyone remembers a time when they hated broccoli, they hated turkey or chicken or eggs or fish or oatmeal or whatever you want to call it. I know people who hate white rice and people who hate potatoes, but you have to practice eating food. Just like getting good at lifting, getting good at sports, getting good at anything you do, getting good at speaking, getting good at studying, learning, whatever you're doing, work, you also have to get good at eating and it doesn't happen overnight. I was never able to eat seven high protein meals in one day when I weighed 180, 190, even when I did my first contest prep. But after years of getting stronger and slowly growing, I've added another meal and I've come to seven clean meals and I honestly would have never been able to do this if I didn't hire Dave and he forced me to eat eight meals a day of 60 grams of protein. He literally forced me to do it because I paid $500 to hire him. I tried it for six weeks and it helped me progress. Those were six weeks where I was on the toilet, burping during my workouts, burping at night, waking up with heartburn, but after it was all said and done, I realized, hey, maybe this is a little too much, but I just learned something. I learned to step out of my comfort zone, to eat more protein, to have more meals, and it helped me. So guys, I'm not telling you what to eat. I'm not forcing you to do anything. I'm suggesting where the next big step is so you guys can take little baby steps to get there, okay? I want everyone that, I, that watches me eating five, six, seven clean protein meals a day, not snacking on garbage. But it's not gonna happen overnight, but you gotta have big dreams and big goals because if you don't, you're never gonna take the small steps to get there. Don't be afraid of the big goal. Just figure out a way to put the effort in and it won't happen overnight, but it will happen eventually if you don't bitch out. I didn't have food in my teeth the whole time. If I did, I'm sorry, guys. All right guys, so that wraps up. I don't even know what meal this is, four or five of the day. I did film a full day of eating for you guys yesterday, so stay tuned. That'll be the next video. It might take me a couple days to get that content out. I really just filmed right now just to say what's up to you guys and to say thank you for all following me on Insta, liking the uh, pictures, commenting, sending me DMs. It's really motivating. It feels like I'm not even moving because you guys are coming with me the entire time. So it's pretty chill and I'm definitely having a good time on this move as good of a time as I can have. So, I'm gonna get back in the car, continue this drive, and just dream about getting to Denver, stretching out, getting back to the gym, getting back to work in a comfortable space, and getting back to the protocol and doing something with my diet, training, supplementation, because I'm ready to have some fun in the gym, ready to have fun with all of you guys and take this to the next level. Believe it or not, the past month or two has not been too conducive to bodybuilding. I've had a lot going on personally, and it's accumulated, culminated, it ended up with me moving out of Miami and I don't know, kind of starting a little bit of a new life or a little bit of a fresh beginning. So thank you guys so much for the support and I really couldn't be happier to have the best group of subscribers that anyone could ask for on YouTube. You guys are honestly de-ish. Young Kayla's lagging a little bit here. She's been driving for a few hours so I'm sure she's tired. But we're gonna hopefully make it safely and I'm sure once we get to Denver, we will be exhausted. But stay tuned and I hope you guys do enjoy the next video because it's gonna be a lot of fun getting rid of an old, old missus and starting a new journey with a new one. And she's right here being protected by the one and only 
Yoshi, the master of disaster. Blue Yoshi, he's proper. He tracks me. I want you. I love you. As you can maybe see, the room is more or less ready for the movers. All that's going to be going in the car and all the furniture is going to get moved. So it's just a matter of getting ready to pack everything up so that when they get here, they can get in and out and then the room should be empty as hell. And yeah, I'm trying to weigh in right now. It's Wednesday midweek, day number three of moving week. Car is ready to be sold. Just got to get her washed. Room's ready to get packed up and I got to get on the computer, respond to comments, keep you guys updated. Thank you guys again so much if you're watching this. If you're watching this, smash the like button, comment, whatever you want to comment. Let's weigh in and see where the hell I'm at, because I have no idea. And I ate seven and a half meals yesterday and went to bed hungry. And I had dreams about being lean, so that usually means I'm hungry, and I'm lean, and I'm light. Two and 2.4, I was actually about to wake up and just get some things going, but I think today is going to be another cardio day. Last mailbox check, living here. Obviously it doesn't work because we're in Miami. There we go. More than a camera store. Should be nine. Finally my dad's bill came in. Oh, the last day that I'm <laughs> here. Oh my God, where's the AT&T one? I gave it to it. you. Oh! It's a win, it's gonna do this, right? I'm gonna leave it here so we can pick it up on the way back. You guys know the move is serious when these little ones are out of their element. Under a ladder? Oh my god. They're gonna have the worst luck today. So I called the mover this morning at 10 a.m. And he was eating breakfast and forgot that he was coming today. So hopefully he ends up showing up. Fuck my life. Oh boy. There we go. And you guys thought I was joking. So now I'm at the moving company's will. And if you guys want to see what's going down day to day, why don't you guys follow me on Insta. That way, you can see where I am, basically, as I'm moving around. Thank you guys for watching the story. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, why don't you do that? And if you haven't followed me on Insta yet, why don't you do that? Thanks, bras. And everything you see here is gonna be absolutely moved by the movers, the and then movers what's in the-, in the field, and see that, you see that? You see that? Basically, everything, everything you see needs to go. Okay. So, what is your policy on shipping these types of frames and stuff? They don't, that one's like... It's almost starting to echo in here, but everything's almost out. Luckily, there was nothing conspicuous under the, uh, under the bed. A couple socks. No underwear. The room is lean, looking lean, looking lean, looking lean, and tomorrow morning we get the hell out of here. Young Kayla's gonna come through and pick me up, and then we're gonna ride out, so I'm gonna finish, finish posting this video. Ours of Fitness Headquarters is looking pretty weak sauce right now. The last meal here, last meal in this apartment, and I gotta be quiet because it's a little late. Tomorrow's a new day, and I cannot wait to bring you guys along. Yeah. Let's grow. Last walk through. What do you think? Pretty dead. Yeah. The echo is real. All right. I'll see you another time. That's it. So long. Let's do.